Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the Nod News Network. The State Department cited a recent increase in military activity by the United States and its South Korean and Japanese allies in the region. The Korean Peninsula may soon fall into a new crisis, the Russian Foreign Ministry warns. A senior diplomat attributed the rising tensions mainly to the growing U.S. military presence in the region. Speaking to the TASS news agency on Monday on the sidelines of the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok, Georgi Zinoviev, director of the First Asia Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, warned that the dynamics of events on the Korean peninsula shows that a new crisis is approaching. He pointed to increasingly bellicose rhetoric coming from both North Korea and the United States, as well as South Korea and Japan. The diplomat also noted that Washington and its allies are increasing joint military exercises in the region. For example, for the first time since 1981, an American submarine Kentucky armed with nuclear-capable ballistic missiles appeared in Korean waters, Zinoviev told reporters. He also noted that trilateral missile defense exercises between the US, South Korea and Japan are being held more frequently than before. Washington's claims that these exercises are purely defensive are difficult to believe, he said, adding that these exercises also have anti-Russian and anti-China implications. He then emphasized that reducing tensions would only be possible if the US and its regional allies suspended military exercises and revised their sanctions-based approach. Last week, North Korea unveiled a new tactical attack submarine capable of launching nuclear missiles in a ceremony attended by the country's leader, Kim Jong-un. The North Korean leader also revealed that Pyongyang is renovating existing submarines so they can carry nuclear weapons. Last July, Washington deployed the nuclear-capable submarine USS Kentucky off the coast of South Korea, citing the need to counter provocative actions. Earlier this month, North Korea announced that its military had conducted a tactical nuclear strike exercise to warn the enemy of the real danger of nuclear war, according to a press release. Official Press Release of KCNA In mid-August, the country's defense minister, General Kang Sun-nam, warned that nuclear war on the Korean peninsula was inevitable. The simulated nuclear attack took place after the Ulchi Freedom Shield 23 exercise between the US and South Korea and involved at least one US nuclear-capable B-1B strategic bomber. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.